Also tonight, waiting for the flow of gasoline to get up this way once again. Now, gas stations around Hampton Roads need it desperately. You do too. Once again, we saw the pump shut down at a number of stations where there is gas. The price has gone up significantly. Today, the local average for a gallon of gas, 288. Just a week ago, it was 270. And last year, in the middle of the pandemic, it was $1.68. The question will prices go down at all when the supply returns? And your side's Brett Hall is live with this update on gas. Brett? Well, we've seen gas return to this 7 Eleven on Effingham Street in Portsmouth just in the last two hours. Some of the varieties of gas, they don't have all of them right now, but what a lot of people are talking about is that price. Take a look at it. Five cents short of $3 a gallon. Tonight, there is some hope that it may not stay that high. As more gas continues to flow into Hampton Roads from the recently restarted Colonial Pipeline, tanker trucks are hauling it to thirsty stations as fast as they can. This Sitco off Military Highway in Chesapeake hasn't had gas in four days. Hoarding fuel, filling up lots of gas cans to keep it home with, without the need for that has actually made it worse for everyone. Holly Dalby with AAA Tidewater says, especially when it comes to the price we pay. Prices are going to stay on the higher end. We're not going to see prices that we saw last year under $2. She says with the pandemic restrictions being lifted, people are hitting the road. Keeping demand for fuel up. Couple that with the fact that there's still a shortage of truck drivers to meet the delivery demand. It's been a bit of a perfect storm. But rest assured, the storm will subside. AAA is expecting that prices will start to steady and probably decline a little bit. She's talking about maybe five or ten cents. We were expecting prices to be gradually rising up through the holiday and into the beginning of the summer. A summer we hope is free from any more fuel frustrations. And Gas Buddy, which has been tracking the fuel at gas stations across the East Coast during this crisis, they say that more than 50% of Virginia's gas stations now have all their fuel back. There is hope this will all be behind us by next week. Live in Portsmouth, Brett Hall, 10 on your side. And we will keep you updated all weekend on this story as gas stations get fueled up again.